Hey Biters, and welcome to the behind the scenes for Goosebumps the Musical. Wow, I'm very excited about this, but I am, because there hasn't been a video in a long time. Goosebumps, I'm just reading Goosebumps, turning every page would raise my hair. Goosebumps, reading gave me Goosebumps. Readers beware, uh, you're uh, in for a uh, uh, scare. Park closes at 11 p.m. What time is it? Sir, are you been drinking? No. You sure? Yeah, you I know. Can't Can you stand up, please? You can't prove anything. Sir, I'm going to need you to stand up for a moment and empty your pockets and take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> when they announced that they were making Goosebumps as a movie, which, by the way, it's a brilliant idea, Hollywood. Thank you. Like, what took you so long? Um, we realized we had to make Goosebumps the musical, mainly, well, at least for me, because when I was a kid, Goosebumps was my life. The stories are so cool. I have one complaint though about Goosebumps. It was we, we, we bought a bunch of books uh, for the video as props. Where's where's the bumpy stuff, man? Like there's no bumpy, like bumpy anything. Like I, this was my favorite part about the books. Remember they had those like textures and stuff like that. That was so cool. But nowadays they're just like, man. Box killer, dog killer, hand. You're right. We're talking about one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so it's really just killer everything. I mean, yeah. That was a really good take. That was dope. Yes. Can, can we just cut it? I just want to take a look. Steph did the yeah to the camera. Is that good? Oh, yeah. It could actually really work. I, you okay. did make it work okay. just now okay. really well. Cool. Steph was a little cut off when she started talking. Yeah. But. Oh, <laughs> that, Sean, that delivery is dope. <laughs> I love the little flashlight too. It works so well. Her <laughs> sister has a very messy room. We're gonna shoot in there, and she doesn't want us to, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's a mic rolling. There we go. Yep. Hey. So yeah, so yeah, our sister has very, very bad uh, kind of like discipline when it comes to keeping her room tidy, but we're still shooting in there. I'm just being silent. And now she got right called now. out. I'm being, I'm being like politically correct here. We're gonna have to cut this so she doesn't know we actually shot in there. Yeah, right. And I, I thought that would be enough light to just. There's. So what, what, what kind of place? It's like now dark time. These lights, street poles. Here, there's another one right there. City of New York. What's up? People be dying because they can't see shit. Uh, bleep myself out there. I'm just gonna. I'm editing this video myself. So I was talking to myself, telling myself to bleep myself out for swearing did in you a video. Swear at the camera? I did. What's wrong with you? No swearing. We're a family-friendly Goosebumps channel. No. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> this is literally porn. I'm not. Yes. <laughs> literally. I took a deep breath and blew on it again. No, not happening. My hand trembled as I turned it over and blew on the other end of the stick. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. This is in the book? Run, I told myself. It's on the book. It landed with a soft thunk and sank immediately. And then I opened my mouth and uttered a cry. Are you kidding? Oh my god. This is terrible. My hands grabbed solid stone. Pain, pain shot down my shoulder as I hit the hard body. The gnome didn't budge. Oh my god. Oh, also guys, we, the three of us, Mike, Sean, and myself, created a brand new channel called... Paperbot. Paperbot. It's all going to be gaming related stuff, like yes. first impressions, let's plays, gaming news, everything gaming. And we're also going to be working on original musical content. It's like gaming musicals and stuff. It's going to be really fun. It's brand new. We just started. You're going to be the first people to see it. So go ahead, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you there on Paperbot. You won't be sorry you did. So we were going to shoot this on a Monday afternoon, and we couldn't find another female actress. And then my brother was like, hold on a minute. I know this girl. Uh, I see her at the bubble tea place I go to. She's a big 80 Byte fan, she can sing, and she really wants to be in a video. The best bubble tea in New York City is where you work, and it is, it is the best bubble tea. No, seriously, it's the best bubble tea in New York City. 
No, it's called Chocolat. Yeah. And she has an amazing YouTube channel. She just covered. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, I'm oh serious. What uh, would you say? What do you say to you do? I'm a very unforgiving otaku nerd. I've been watching anime since uh, I can watch anything in life. And I just take anime openings and endings, I translate them, edit them to make them in English, and I sing them in English. They're so cool. Uh, but, I mean, I've just barely started, but I have like a bunch that I'm translating right now. Oh, it's called Namikichi. You guys gotta check it out! Namikichi! <laughs> one, two, three, and goosebumps! Goosebumps! Good, one more time for camera, let's reset. <laughs> so, as some of you might have realized, 80 Byte has not been posting a new video in the last couple of months. I'm sorry about that. I moved to LA, I love it here by the way. And also, we got really, really busy making, drum roll, our first like episodic show, which goes in production really soon, like sometime next month to be honest. So that really took a lot of our time, but you know, we really missed making videos, so this was, this felt really good. I miss reading goosebumps, turning every page. What is my hair? Goosebumps! <laughs> You're in for a scare. Yay! Awesome, awesome. <laughs> right, so Steph, the question of the day is: What is your favorite goosebumps book? And if you haven't read any or don't remember, what's your favorite horror film of all time? Okay, my favorite goosebumps book. I don't know what it's called, but there was this one where they snuck into a theme park, these two kids, and they got lost and they couldn't get out and there were like really scary things happening. I don't even remember what they were, but I was terrified. And ever since then, I was scared to go to a theme park. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know what, what that one was, but it was really scary. Okay, so in the comments below, if you know which one that was, let's help Steph out. Please tell me, I want to reread it. <laughs> I'm sure when I was young, I read like one or two Goosebumps books. For the life of me, never I connected. Can't with remember. It. Well, I don't know. If I never connected. I just can't remember. You like, connected with it. I connected the with the piano. <laughs> um, so my favorite horror film. Oh. Um, it's a tricky question to answer because there's so many horror films that come out. Very now, different kinds of horror films. And they're also terrible. First film that comes to mind. I saw it earlier this year. I think Sean saw it too. Actually, uh, the Baba Duke. The Duke. Of, oh. the, the Duke of Baba. So good. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. For any of you who don't know, you should see it. Um, it's a it's this Australian indie horror film uh, written and directed by Jessica Kent. Uh, there's not a single jump scare in it. It's one of the scariest horror films I've, I've ever seen. The truth is, I am the biggest wuss on the planet. I don't <laughs> watch horror films. Have you ever I, seen one? Well, yes, and I've seen plenty. <laughs> so I know I don't like them. <laughs> and is there anyone that you kind of like liked, or uh, well, what was the scariest one then? Well. It, I don't think it's really that scary, but I'm gonna say The Ring simply because I was 10 years old and it like scarred me for life. I actually pranked my mother because back then I had long black hair. She was washing her face. She came up to see like the bathroom mirror and I was just behind her with it. Oh! <laughs> She's never forgiven me to this day. I'm very sorry, mom. I love you. I'm so glad I didn't kill you. Well, there was a, a Choose Your Own Adventure uh, Goosebumps series, which is really fantastic. It would be like, if you want to go down the hallway, go to page 13. And there was one that was like, it was about a mummy and like a museum. It was a Choose Your Own about a mummy? Yes, That's and if you one. went down the wrong path, you turned into a mummy, and then you switched places with the mummy, I think. And that was super dope. That's really cool. Do you know what it was called? No. <laughs> Someone in the comments, can you find out what that book was called? So that we can all read it. Please. First, first post person to find the name of the book wins a free subscription to Paperbot. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching our behind the scenes video for Goosebumps the Musical, and we will see you very soon in our comments video.